Yes, yeah, so this is Peter Christian Hessing. I hope you're having a great day and night here. Um, and I hope you are seeking God and Jesus and they are, are, are taking care of you and you are succeeding. Um, I um, want to tell you that, um, you know, there's a God out there and a Jesus or a Yahweh or Allah that loves us. He wants to save us, and whether you're Christian or Muslims or, or Jews or Hindus or Buddhists, whatever religion you are, there is a true God. The true God who created the universe, He loves us. And if you create something, you don't want to have it destroyed. And uh, it is uh, wrong um, for people to think that no, you know, God is going to you know, destroy the world and, and, and so forth and all of that. And God wants to, you know, you know, have all these floods and earthquakes and, and, and sicknesses. But that's not God. That God doesn't want to do that. If you create something, if you can imagine a God who created the, the earth, all of the planets, we got the earth, we got Mars, we got Jupiter, we got Saturn and then Uranus and you got the middle stars and, 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 and all the um, planets out there. They, they say there's about a billion galaxies. We are just in one galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. That there are billions of galaxies out there. And that we have seventh heavens where God and Jesus is. But the God who created us, created man, woman, and children and babies, now the earth is full. God's intention, as he said in Genesis, was to man must be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. And um, take care of the earth. You know, man was to reproduce, have children, and, 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 and expand. And now we have nearly 8 billion people in the world. So God um, has a plan, and that is God's plan to fill the earth and to save mankind. And that's why he sent you know, Jesus here, as he said, God loved the world so much that he, you know, he sent his only son you know, to give his life uh, to save us. And through all the Bible, you see where God um, is trying to save mankind, but of course we have to live according to, um, uh, uh, we have to live right, we have to love one another. You know, love one another, take care of the poor and, 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 and the sick. So we really need to do that, uh, you know, God commanded uh, the, the, the early um, the, the Jews. He said, "Take care of the poor. Uh, you know, the, the, the children that have no parents, the widows, the foreigners. He didn't tell us to deport anybody. <laughs> he even told them that they have to whatever food that came on the door of their farms, they have to leave it there for, for the poor people and the foreigners. So we have to end poverty and." I've been saying all along that um, uh, the World Bank and the IMF, and all the central banks, have trillions of dollars. I mean, the, the World Bank and IMF, they have probably, who knows, a trillion or two trillion dollars between them. But they have at least a trillion dollars between those institutions. And all, all these other banks, central banks, have trillions of dollars. And uh, it's good that these, these institutions have that amount of money and they can lend to the governments. You know, all these governments um, that they lend to, you know, they probably lend to over a hundred different countries to get them out of poverty. But as you can see, that strategy is not working. It's good that they can lend to save these governments, but you can't just give all the money to the governments. They have trillions of dollars. You only have probably about six billion poor people in the world, or some people would say three billion people are poor. But let's say it's even six billion. Yeah? They have trillions of dollars, which is more than enough. You know, it, 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 it's more than three billion, billion, billion people. I mean, some of these billionaires, are, you know, they have more than three, three billion or six billion dollars. And I have always said, if the World Bank and the IMF, and you got the Federal Reserve, and you got the, the, the European Central Bank, or every country is a central bank. If they were just to invest $10 for each of the 6 billion people in the world, that would just be $60 billion. And they did that so that these people could have an online website, 
where they could sell a product or make a product. If everybody in the world sold one product or two products or three or um, made a product, you know, they'll be able to come out of poverty. Some people want to go into farming. You know, they want to buy cows. They want to, um, you know, have sheep and 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 and, 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 and you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, pigs and goats and, 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 and chickens and you know, they want to farming and plant you know rice and potatoes and 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 and, and, and watermelons and, and vegetables and, and and so forth. Some people selling their own music. Some people can sell their own music. Write books and poetry and make you know um, painters and artists, uh, people making their own films and, and so forth. If everybody in the world was able to have a just a, just an online business, probably cost even less than ten dollars a year. And if the World Bank of the IMF just invested that ten dollars to build a, a website where people could. Have businesses and sell products and help them to sell those products you'll be able to, to to start to bring these people out of poverty and you wouldn't have the problem of all this illegal immigration people having to flee out of their country in the Middle East in Africa or in Jamaica or Haiti or out of Mexico and El Salvador or Guatemala uh, uh, to, to leave to flee out and leave their homes you would have all these uh, refugees now, if the World Bank of the IMF did that, say we had six billion, six billion people, let's say they invested ten dollars for each of those six billion. That's sixty billion dollars. That's in the first year. They built a website. That website could pay for itself. That website could pay for itself advertising. If you had a website that has billions of people, you would have all this advertising. It would pay for itself. So you see. We can end poverty, but we are not investing the money that we have in the right way. Uh, so that is what they need to do. And we also need to do that here in America. We have nearly 40, 50 million poor people and homeless people here in America. And, and if we created businesses, the same online business for every poor person in America, we would double the U.S. economy if, if 40 million people had businesses where they're selling either selling products or making products here in America, you the tax revenues would be able to pay off, help to pay off our debt. We really have to double our economy here in America to probably thirty trillion dollars. And from the tax revenues from all those fifty million businesses that we're gonna create for all the poor people in America would be able to help to pay off our, our, our debt, our debt, which is now probably $19 trillion. It will help to close our trade deficit with China and, 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 and Mexico and Canada and also do that. So that is something that you really have to do. And I also want to say that we need to reduce the amount of nuclear weapons in the world. We need to have a round the clock, 24-7 inspection treaty where the International Atomic Agency will inspect and monitor all the nuclear weapons in the world. Nuclear weapons on ships, on submarines, and planes, on land, underground, in, in space, wherever. We have a round the clock inspection by the International Atomic Agency of all the nuclear weapons in the world so that you don't have a nuclear war between Russia and America or, or between India and Pakistan or North Korea. You hear North Korea now is threatening to use, uh, build nuclear weapons. Years ago, I told you that I'm an inventor and I invented years ago a uh, expanding missile system. I designed it, applied for a patent of it, and this expanding system was able to expand receive incoming nuclear missiles and could disarm them and also you could retarget them in a back that if, if those missiles were launched from Russia this expanding missile system would be able to receive them it expands 
receives the nuclear missiles, send them back to Russia if they came from Russia, or if they came from North Korea, the system will be able to expand, receive the nuclear equipment, send them back to North Korea. If they came from China or Iran, this expanding anti-nuclear system could expand, receive them and send them back. It's a kind of boomerang system. So this is the type of technology that we're going to have to build to get rid of long-range nuclear missiles and to have zero nuclear weapons in the world to go to to move the world closer to global zero which means having zero nuclear weapons on the world. We have to save this beautiful planet that God has given us. We are uh, we applied for a patent on it. I got several copyrights on it. The reason why I applied for a patent on it is not because I want to make millions and billions of dollars from it uh, there, but the reason being is that the only way that you can persuade, the only way a poor person like me would be able to persuade a, a big company like you know Drummond or Raytheon or Boeing or Rockwell, the only way that I could persuade a large corporate company like that, I would have to have something. I'd have to go to them and say, okay, here's a, I have a patent uh, right on this thing, or I have a copyright or a patent. Let us build this thing. But I've tried for 40 years to get the presidents, the Congress uh, to do it. One of the obstacles, of course, was the ABM Treaty. We tried for 40 years to get the American government interested in building this expanding missile system that can the salmon retarget missile, but one of the obstacles, of course, was the ABM Treaty. The ABM Treaty blocked you know, building these anti-missile systems. But I think one of the good things that Bush did was that he did away with the ABM Treaty, and that was a good thing because there is so much technology now that you can use to get rid of long-range nuclear missiles. But we still have to look out for smaller nuclear missiles like you know ones that are suitcase nuclear missiles suitcase bombs and you know, golf size ball and football size and basketball size nuclear weapons that people can smuggle in we definitely still have to look for that okay so join me it's um peter christian Hessen. you can get me on youtube and on twitter and on Facebook, and I'm look for my book, the 24/7 Safety Inspection Treaty to Save the World from Nuclear War. God bless. Seek God and Jesus, peace and love, and let us bring all the peoples of the world, bring the Americans, the Russians, the Chinese, the North Koreans, the Christian, Muslims, and Jews. Let's bring all the people. We have to be one family. We and the Russians have to be brothers and sisters and Chinese and. Muslims, let us stop the fighting between the, the, the Shiites and the Sunnis and the Jews. Let us come together and save this beautiful planet that God has given us. As one day God uh, told us that He will create a new heaven and new earth in the Revelation. There will be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering. Peace and love. Give your hearts and life to God and Jesus. Thank you. And join me on again on YouTube and look for my book, The 24-7 Safety Inspection Treaty to Save the World from Nuclear War and also the one instantly ending publicly. Thank you. Peace and love.